What's going on, guys? Welcome back to CNC Life. What is happening? What's and, happening? And Jay, and Jay. It's the CNC Jay Life, I guess. Or, <laughs> or just the Jackson Life. <laughs> because that's basically what our life is. It's Jackson's life. It's keeping this kid happy right here. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> He's so funny right now. Hi, what's up? There's a really cute baby on the screen. I got to get this. <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome back to CNC Life. Today, we want to give you guys an updated Q&A on just like our life, what's been going on, what's happening. Uh, I feel like we haven't done a QA and a in a while, so I got a bunch of questions up for you guys from Instagram, and we're gonna go ahead and answer them for you. Are you re Jackson's like making sure you're not in the shot. He's oh, like, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, we're just gonna right I, there. I should just stand like this. Watch. All right, I should just be like this with you. There it is. <laughs> and where you go, you're burning. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this Q and A started. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. All right, Jackson. The first question is for you. How many diaper changes do you get a day? You gotta tell him, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> just joking around. The real question is, Jackson, are you a good boy? Okay, we traded out Jackson for CC. <laughs> Jackson really needed a nap, actually, so I just put him down for a nap, yeah. and now we're ready to start our Q&A. He was getting really cranky, so we're like, all right, you're gonna take a nap, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so he's taking a nap, and now we can actually do the Q&A. So what were we asking? The, answer, the question was, how do we get our baby to eat so much food, right? Yes. And I wanted to answer it and just say, like, I know it looks like Jackson just eats a variety of food, and he's just so not picky, but he's like any other kid, and he definitely does have, like, he has favorites. His favorites, and it's... Sometimes, even his favorites are like, I don't want it to dip. Yeah. Um, by all means, what does he say? That's good. <laughs> by all means, he definitely does say that's good. He definitely doesn't eat like a ton and ton of different types of food. What we do, what we do make a, a point of doing though is offering tons of different food yeah. every day. So I know it looks like he eats lots of food, but he doesn't always eat that food that we give him. We just offer him tons of different foods every day, all the time. And there's so many foods that he loves because of it, I think. Th yes. Things that I don't even like, like seaweed. That one, like, disgusts me. Seaweed I can't get over really seaweed. Good. I like the seaweed. I don't know what you're talking about. I can't seaweed get over good. seaweed. It's literally the most disgusting thing to me. But my my son loves it. He would keep eating it. He would eat the whole bag if we gave it to yeah. him, but we don't. But. Yeah, <laughs> we don't, but he would. <laughs> and he loves fruit. He likes chicken, not every time though. There's been times where he didn't eat chicken and I was really shocked. It's the same thing with beef. He sometimes eats it, sometimes doesn't. He doesn't yeah. eat everything. I'd say with meat, it's kind of like an iffy chance that he'll eat it. Usually he does, but not always. He loves pasta. pasta. Um, but you he know what? He never says yeah. no to pasta. He'll, eat, he'll clean that plate. Yeah, but you know what? He doesn't always love like um, vegetables. That's a tough one for us, really. I'll offer vegetables and he will not eat any of it. He'll throw it on the floor. But the good thing that we do with the vegetables is that we blend it up and put it into his yeah. pasta and so he eats it. Um, but yeah, I mean, just like any other kid, he is picky. He does have his moments. But yeah, we just, what we do is we just offer him so much food. That's what baby litter weaning is all about, is he eats everything we eat with some restrictions, obviously. We don't give him everything we eat. But he eats basically everything we eat. And I've loved that about baby litter weaning from the very beginning, because mm -hmm. I feel like it's made him so much more open to trying foods. He always tries foods. Yeah. He'll always try everything we give him, which <laughs> I love. Then when he doesn't like it, he just, just spits it out and drops it on the floor. <laughs> and his favorite thing to do when he's done eating, he just goes. He smears it, and it's like a game of how fast can you get it away from him before it lands all on the floor. Next question is, I do feel like we're and we're gonna answer a lot of questions about family, because that, that was a lot of the questions was about family, North Carolina, how we're doing with it. So this question is, will you be visiting California anytime soon? The answer is not in the not summer. Really but maybe sometime in the fall. Yeah, well, no, for sure sometime in the fall. <laughs> we will be definitely visiting when Missy has her baby. My, my sister's pregnant with a little girl. I am going there when that baby is born. The day that baby's born, I am getting a ticket and I'm flying out there. Um, that's very important to us that we are there for that. And plus, it'll be a good time for Carlos to see his family as yes. well. It'll be his first time seeing his family. Um, so that probably won't be until October or end of September, depending on when Missy has the baby. But we are for sure visiting family in the fall. Um, but I think I'll be lucky enough to see my family this summer because we're planning a family trip with my family um, and also Nathan. Yeah, yeah, Nathan is going. Nathan is going. It's because it's Ollie's birthday. Yeah. So we're not going to say where we're going, but yeah. we are planning a family trip with her family. Yes, it's a fun surprise. We're super excited. I've, I've honestly been missing my family a lot. It has definitely been... A struggle for me to she say the least. She definitely shows it more. I, it's definitely been a struggle for me to say the least to not see my family. So I'm really excited to see everybody in July. I just, I literally count on the days. Like every day I talk about the trip. I'm like, the trip and this is what we're going to do. And this is when we're leaving and this and this. And even though it's like a month or so away, I'm still and like all over somebody it. Somebody in your family is coming before the trip. That is true. I actually do have someone in the family visiting. But my whole family I'm seeing in July but I am seeing somebody before that trip and I'm really excited. You guys can stay tuned for that also. Okay, what is the one big difference between California and North Carolina? 
The one big difference that we know of are the farmer's markets. Farmer's markets, um, it's huge. Like we love getting our food out here. It is so cool. It's That's definitely right. been the best change also that we've That's made. Really our grocery stores for yeah. us. We go to the farmer's market, we get all local meats, we get local produce, we get local butter. Um, I, I'd even love to get local milk, but I haven't found that one yet. But we <laughs> just love the farmer's markets. And the farmer's market that we had in California were definitely not this. They were not like this. They were more of a like food spot, like for fun food and crafts yeah. and like people's like makings that they make and maybe some produce, but definitely not the meat that we get out here from the local farmers. And also, honestly, it has been cheaper going to the farmer's market yeah. out here than in California. And also, I'd say one of the big changes is just that um, North Carolina is a lot cheaper than California. That's a huge, <laughs> huge difference. Yeah gas <laughs> everything everything is cheaper out here in I north know. carolina my parents are saying that right now i think it's seven dollars or 650 it is at. very expensive in california and it definitely is not i mean i'm sure to people out here who are like not from california probably think north carolina is expensive like if you live here and you've lived here like your whole life you probably think it's getting expensive but for us coming from california it's not this expensive is, to us. It's normal what yeah. we're paying over there. It's like normal what we were paying maybe a couple of years ago in California. So that's really cool. All right, next question is, what is your least favorite thing about your new town and what is your most favorite? So obviously our most favorite we've already talked about was the farmer's market. We love that. But our least favorite thing about our town, personally, so we live in an area where there's lots of towns, right? There's lots of big cities and towns. But we live in a kind of a small town. And personally, the food in this small town is not good. <laughs> like every time we go eat out, we have not been impressed. I think because we're coming from California, which has lots of food, tons lots of, of options. food options. And then we moved to this little small town that just doesn't have that much food options or lots of yeah. places to go eat at. We usually end up driving to like Greensboro area or yeah. Winston-Salem. Yeah, but when we go out places like that, we do find really good food. But in our personal little town we're in, I'm not that impressed by the food options. Even some of the locals that live around here, they say the same thing. Yeah, I talked to someone and she was like, yeah, the food in that city sucks. I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's not. We, we basically don't ever eat in our little city. We always travel outside of our city to go get food. Because mm -hmm. we found some really good spots like sushi and, and uh, Thai places pizza places lots of good spots but not right where we live <laughs> even coffee shops coffee yeah shops have been really good just out here. not where we live yeah um definitely the food and then obviously just like our least favorite part about being out here is the internet we definitely have struggled with the internet and even though we did get starlink and we told yes. you guys we we're really excited about it but it has come with its own set of challenges yeah its own problems basically it's not out here yet yeah it was just an option for us to yeah. get but it's not it's not, the satellites are not around yeah. the area. So we still have lots of lag, delays, slow internet sometimes, really bad upload speed. Um, the only good thing about it is that it's unlimited, which was with the problem yeah. we were having with the last one. So mm -hmm. that's definitely a struggle. But the only thing with that is that it can only get better. Um, it can't really get worse internet. So as long as we're okay with dealing with what we have, it'll only get better. Yeah. Okay, this one I think is interesting because honestly, I feel like I have a different opinion on this now. Okay. 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 Ready? Uh, Carlos doesn't know what the question is. Okay. When are y'all thinking about having your next kid? If you want any more, we're trying right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You wish. Um, okay. What I want to say is just that for a while I was like, I don't think I'm ever having another kid. <laughs> like I know I would tell you guys, like, yeah, maybe sometime soon. But in my head, I was like, nah, I don't think I'm having another kid for a long time. <laughs> Why? But why? Because Jackson's just a lot of work. He's really difficult. He's not that difficult, but it's just a lot of work. It's very time consuming. And a lot of my biggest reservations was sleeping. Um, I was like, I'm not going to be pregnant and not be sleeping at night. I'm not going to be pregnant or have a newborn and still not be sleeping with my other kid. But Jackson's sleep has improved so much these past few weeks that if I got pregnant, I probably would be a little bit more excited rather than scared. Which is what you want. When I get when I when I see a positive pregnancy test, I don't want to be, oh no, I want to be yay. And I feel like I'm getting close to that. At each night I sleep, I'm like, okay, that's a little better. <laughs> so I'm definitely more open to like having a kid. Obviously, maybe not like this year, but probably next year. And I'm actually thinking like I'll actually be ready for that because I say that and I'm like, well, I'll be ready. But I think I'll be ready by next year to and actually have another one. Also, I think the breastfeeding for you is like, because yeah. you keep saying like, oh, I was gonna do it a year. Like, nope. I'll do it a year and a half. Doesn't seem like it's going to be a year and a half. <laughs> I've always personally said 18 months, though. 18 months? 18 months, and I'd like to be done breastfeeding. But, yeah, I don't know if that's actually true, if that's going to happen. But, obviously, we have, like, cut out breastfeeding quite a bit. We, we still do breastfeed some. But we've, it's been cut down quite a bit. And sleep has gotten so much better. So, with yeah. those two factors, it's, like, not as daunting to be pregnant it's again. It's good at night because he doesn't ask for the boob anymore. Yeah. So it's been a huge improvement with Jackson, and that does like make it not as scary to get pregnant, I think. And we always, I think I said this before that 
we wanted to explore the rest of this year, so maybe try for next year. Yeah, yeah, we definitely do want to get more comfortable out where we live. Make and you know, have, and I've always said I've always just want to like enjoy my time with Jackson, and I think getting pregnant does put a strain on that relationship with him because I'm pregnant and I'll be, you know, more concerned with other things. Although I do think this next time around, this, my pregnancy will be more relaxing. I think I'll be more like relaxed about it and not so worried all the time. Anyways, okay, next question. What do you think of the humidity in North Carolina compared to California? I gotta say, that's been a big one. Um, the humidity here is very interesting. Obviously we traded one type of hot weather for a different type of hot weather. Um, I will say that the boys sweat a lot. Especially, yeah, me and Jackson, yeah. actually it's all of my family and yeah. my side of the family. We sweat a lot. Us boys sweat a lot. Yeah. yeah. Out here, it's just like, wow, my shirt is drenched. Yeah, and Jackson sweats a lot. And I'd say the humidity is not that bothersome during the day. But there's nothing I dislike more than going out when the sun is down and it's gross outside. It's gross. It's gross outside. Um, especially after a really hot day, you'll go outside and it's just like icky outside it smells weird Cassie, and it's wet i don't mind it as much as cassie i'm like yeah sweat is wet i just don't like wetness in the air <laughs> um but you know it's it's no different really than the dry hot heat of california i'd say um and honestly what i think i like about the humidity out here is i don't think it lasts forever personally i'm pretty sure it all starts to clear up in the fall and the winter time and then the spring and summertime it comes back so i don't think this is forever um whereas in california i feel like it's hot so much like all the time it's always warm outside <laughs> so i do think that's a huge difference we got our last and final question carlos what is it this is from peachy mama 2 is jackson going through a screaming phase at all my little guy won't stop <laughs> oh yes he is i don't know if you're just asking that because you know we're going through a screaming phase but yes we are absolutely going through that he's just screaming screaming but it's a happy screaming yeah it's like, oh, my oh, it's God. not always a happy scream it's always it's just he he has definitely found his voice like this past couple weeks i think he's definitely become very vocal um you know definitely wants to get his point across with his voice through excitement <laughs> anger annoyance you know he definitely is very loud um i think it's just them discovering things they can do how to get yeah. our attention you know a lot of it's attention i think he's like look at me i don't want to do that anymore i don't want this anymore and i'm really excited and yeah it's just sometimes a lot. he's just running around in circles screaming yeah it's like oh my gosh jacks relax <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a lot of excitement that's actually part of why like he has to like go take a nap right now like we can't film with him sometimes because he's so loud and he's just like you know he's just right there screaming and telling you what he's feeling um so yeah he is i definitely think it's just an age thing but yeah he's very vocal right now anyways guys i think that's it for today's q a we hope you guys liked it. if you did smash that thumbs up button make sure you're following both of us on instagram so you guys can catch the next q a on my instagram and we'll see you guys next time. Bye, Bye guys. guys.